learning new words is not a difficult one but maintaining retaining and retrieving recalling new words is just the challenging the most challenging task of today's english learner journey because some of the new words which we have crammed which we have learned and memorized after so much struggle and hard work they become depleted fade away deleted and become dormant and they are not coming into our actual conversation this is the dilemma this is the biggest problem because having a top position are to top the position or to get the first position in an exam is not the difficult one but to retain or to become and to remain the topper of all exams is just the challenging task the situation is very similar to each other now what's the solution i have come up with one solution and the four ways one solution one technique and its four solutions its four ways just like four branches of one solution now what is the name of that method the fastest the number one fastest method because up till now students have been using the traditional methodology to learn a language now they were what is the traditional methodology they are inserting information to the brain they are giving instructions to the brain they are feeding brain with new words but now you have to make a little turn what is that turn what is that methodology now you have not to put information into the brain but you have to extract information you have to retrieve information recall information forcefully consciously deliberately from your brain and this method is called active recall active recall active recall is the method where you retrieve consciously information which you have just learned from your brain now how can you do this how can you do this and at the end of the video i will share with you what is active usage first of all i am dealing with active recall how can you how can you put instructions how can you give instructions to your brain to recall to retry to come back the words which you have learned after so much hard work the very first way the very first method which you can adopt is by playing a game you can play a game of puzzle block or jar game and i prefer that you should play a jar game now what how can you do this with vocabulary first make four jars on the page first make a four jar have a mindset that i am going to play a jar game you will be excited that i am not learning this game i am not just learning the new words i am not just recalling retrieving the information from my brain but i am going to play a game named jar game now what is jar game you have to make four jars on the notebook four jars you have made now you have to label them question jar answer jar past jar fail jar now for example if you have learned a new word like frustrated or you have learned a new word retry retry you have learned a new word retry retry is in your brain you have learned it yesterday in yesterday's lesson now you are going to recall it retry it from your brain how can you do this you have to forcefully ask your brain what i have learned the word the synonym of recall you, your brain will hesitate to recall it but you have to forcefully ask questions what is the meaning of recall what is the meaning of retrive what is the definition of retrive how can i use this word retrive in actual situation now you have to answer i can i can use this word when i have to i have to get back the information when i have to recall the information then i will 
use this word retrieve. I retrieve information. I retrieve my belongings. My belongings are, I retrieve my marks from the mark sheet. I retrieve the old vocabulary from my brain. Now you are giving the answers. First you are putting the questions. You have selected the questions. Now you are answering the questions. And if you have passed all the answers and if you got the answers of your keys, of, of your words, retrieve, you should put in the jar box, pass, I have passed. If you have not, if you have not retrieved the information, if you are failing to get back the information, if your brain is hesitant enough, what you have to do, you have to tick the failed jar. Now you have to repeatedly go through this phenomena and you will see tremendous change in your own language. Second way to recall is that to have to ask a lot of questions from yourself. But in now how can you do this? For example, if you have just learned the conditional sentences, conditional sentences, its rules. Now you have to ask the questions. Ask the question, what are the rules of conditional sentences? In which situations I should use these conditional sentences? How can I formulate sentences regarding conditional sentences? Is it compulsory to use conditional sentences when I have to ask some question? Now you are asking a lot of questions. You have to make sure that you are asking a lot of questions regarding that word. Regarding that word. For example, if I am looking for the word like prestigious, prestigious. If I want to recall this word, I would say that prestigious is the synonym of respect. And uh, how can I use it in the sentences? It's a prestigious institution. People like prestigious place. People like to have prestigious prestigious uh, environment, pre prestigious institution. In this way you are creating environment, you are creating sentences and you are retrieving the information from your brain. Another method is that by writing. Writing, when you are writing something you are making yourself better understanding of what you have learned. So write. Use that word as much as you can. And if you have utilized this word today, after a few days, you should come back to that point and just review the vocabulary list which you have learned and utilize them again in another topic. This is very much important. This is very much important that you should use them in different situations, in different topics. Now I have used, I have learned the word mundane. Mundane. Mundane means boring that is not so much special so i have to utilize this word now you are switching over one from one topic to another you should select a topic where you are using this word mundane time and again consciously whenever you have to use the word common boring you should avoid these words and you should incorporate mundane 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 it means that you are giving signal to your brain that this the i am repeatedly using this word and this word is so much important and I have to utilize this word. So this is the very best method. And now what is active usage? Active uses mean that you are actively, deliberately using that word in actual real life situation, real time situation. When you are having a real conversation, you should force yourself to use that word. Don't leave that word because if you leave that word alone in your brain to sit in your brain, it will it will be it will be depleted. It will be it will become dormant, and you will and it will be faded. It will not shine in your memory. If you want to make the word shine in your memory, you have to utilize it. 
utilize it as many times as you can this is active usage and by the means of active usage and active recall you will be able to learn and uh, to retain the words in your memory for a longer period of time hope you have understood this concept of active recall now you have to apply this active recall time and again again retry information time and again reprocess the information and uh, and always recall what you have learned to yesterday what you have learned a week before and then you will be on the right track of learning the new vocabulary and not only learning the new vocabulary but actually utilizing all those vocabulary words in your actual situations and they will stay with you they will shine in your memory they will shine in your conversation and you will become become more confident by using them so hope you have understood this concept till the next concept stay happy stay blessed thank you so much have a nice day